Hey guys, Frozen Stratos here. Um, just before we get this episode started, um, it would uh, it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the passing of Tatsuya Nomi, the the actor for Daigo Shishi Ranger in Dai Ranger, obviously. Um, this news came recently, uh, and uh, considering that I was covering Dai Ranger, I thought it'd be uh, it would be appropriate to um, send my condolences. Um, actually, uh, from the whole Go Mango Network, we'd like to uh, uh, send our love, our prayers, our um, our condolences to the friends and family of those affected. Um, uh, it, it's just, I don't know, it, this was some very sad news that I got earlier today. Um, and again, since I'm I'm covering Die Ranger, it, it would be would be a little odd if I didn't uh, didn't say anything about this. Um, so Tatsuya Nomi, rest in peace. Uh, I hope I say I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Um, thank you for everything you've done. All right. Anyway, uh, let's just start the show. Um, I recorded this way before I knew, so. Um, if I if I seem a bit cheery, that's because <laughs> I didn't know. All right, okay, thanks guys. See ya. Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Toku Turn Back. I'm your host Frozen Stratos, and today we're going to be taking a look at episodes 21 through 25 of Ghostei Sentai Dai Ranger. And so, to, uh, to kick us off, I guess we'll just dive into episode 21, um, and we're still, uh, we're still kind of, like, hanging on the, uh, the Kiba Ranger plot, and, uh, I don't know, uh, given, given the three later episodes that we'll get into, I don't know why so much importance is being put on this outside of toy sales, but, um, like, we get the setup that... Uh, there's gonna be this sixth mythical beast, and obviously it's gonna be the Tiger Zord. Um, and, uh, it, I mean, it's, it's being set up, uh, that they need the five rangers there to, to resurrect it, and then also, I think this was the episode where, uh, the kid, he gets mad at, um, at Pink for, um, Oh, excuse me. He gets mad at Pink just because she, she invited him to a picnic where all of them were going to be. And he just wanted to be there with her. That was a little weird. I, like, why are you getting upset? They're, they want to be your friends too, man. That's that's just kind of not fair. I don't know. I like. I really don't like getting all this focus for Kiva Ranger, mostly, again, because uh, in stark contrast, the three episodes, uh, episode uh, 23, 24, and 25, they, like, Kiva Ranger's barely in it. Um, but uh, as, we're, as we're kind of closing out his, his intro story, um, moving into the next episode, it's, it's nice to... Well, um... We we get to see some conflict between um, in these these uh, in twenty one and twenty two, a little bit of conflict between the dad and the son of the Gorma. Um, I kind of wanted the uh, kid, the Gorma kid, to stick around a little more because he had a lot more motivation, um, a lot more going on than his dad. Because uh, I was. When when he died, I was pretty. Dis I was shocked first of all, just because like a kid was dying, and that's something. Um, and second, like I I didn't really want him to die. He was obviously the more compelling character, and we know nothing about the mother yet. So, and and we we know where the the origin of this child's hatred uh, comes from, and it comes from his father. And there's there's direct links to the villains. That could be used, but they decided not to. Uh, I, I felt like it'd be a lot better if uh, the Gorma father was to die and then the kid were to stay on. Though, I guess it is, it is, you can't really have kid actors on too long because, uh, you know, they actually have to go to school. Um, 
I know that, or I don't know, but I'm speculating that for uh, for Q Ranger that's uh, going on currently, um, uh, the the Sky Blue character uh, he had to be taken off of the show um, because he actually had to go to school. I'm I'm assuming that. So this may be done, or this may be you know for the same reason here. Um, uh, so like right now we're getting. His Zord, and then suddenly later on in episodes 23, 24, 25, he's just gone. I mean, like, Kiba Ranger shows up, but the kid doesn't show up, which is weird. Um, and there's no, like, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Um, and when, when, uh, the kid did finally die and the new, new mech came about, wasn't really excited. The, like I'm, I'm just not interested in uh, Kiba Ranger at all. Outside of the sword, because the sword's interesting. Um, the kid, not interesting at all. I, I don't know how much I can stress that. Um, well, I mean, so I don't know. I, if you liked it, that's completely fine. That's that's fine. I don't know where you're coming from. I'd like to know where you're coming from. What like if. If at all anyone does like him, just tell me in the comments down below why, because I don't see him as relatable, he's actually pretty despicable, um, his mother gets reintroduced and then gets thrown away somewhere, I don't know where, I mean, it, it is it is a product of its time, like, the, the, the special effects aren't as good as they are now, I mean, they are only nominally better, but you, you know, you, you get the gist of it. And then, um, oh, let, let's just blow past 21 and 22. 23, friggin' yes, everything about 23. Um, I love episode 23, it, it's the return of Kujiku and Green's plot, and you know me, I love me some Green Ranger, um, uh, and he is, he is like the true leader of the team, except for when they friggin' ditch him! That, to me, that was a ma- uh, a, like, a major misstep of this episode, where, um, everyone ditches him. Especially in episode 25, where Ryo's, like, uh, he talks to Yellow, he's like, Don't worry, we'll never turn our backs on you. Well, you straight up turned your back on Daigo this episode. That was pretty messed up, man. And, like... He, it, it's such, it's such a compelling story, um, with those two, just because, um, I don't know, the, like, I haven't seen a lot of romance recently in Sentai plots, and it's nice to see, um, like, a full force romance, and they, they work really well for each other, and, like, you know, their, their key is the same, or something to that effect, which is a thing, you know, um, I, I liked, he did start punching a wall, which was a bit weird, I mean, but hey, Sentai, you know, just sweep it under the rug, under the rug, it's Sentai, um, to see those two teaming up, to see her finally, like, coming back into, like, the charismatic sort of, uh, figure, um, it, it was touching to see, it was touching to see Daigo bring that out of her, and to see him falling in love with her, and her maybe doing the same, um, it's really touching, and I, like, anytime those two are together, I, I don't know, I, I love, I love everything about that plot, um, it's good stuff, uh, this episode was really good, um, ah, oh man, I, I know I should have some qualms with it, there was something that went on. Oh yeah, it was it was just them turning their back on him. That was that was pretty contrived, you know. I feel like they just did it for the sake of adding conflict. Because again, in episode twenty five, it's completely dropped, and they're on yellow side. Maybe they just don't like green. Who knows? Um, <laughs> all right. So um, love that one. Episode four. Uh, sorry, twenty four. Um, man, what? What happened? <laughs> Let's see. Um, so in episode 24... Oh, frick. It's the baseball one. It's the dumb baseball one. Why Why are we doing the sports stuff, man? Like, what is that all about? Uh, and then they turned on him at the end. I really... So the Gorma 
uh, from a while later, um, or from from way earlier, from the soccer episode, they uh, they come back and they challenge them to baseball because the Gorma want them to, um, and you know, but they really want to defect. Actually, they don't. I I don't know. I really would have liked a plot where. They did want to try to defect. They did genuinely want to do good, you know, um, because uh, you know we don't get that too often anymore. Um, now, ah, what was what was the last? I I only remember um, this plot in I think in space where uh, the Pink Ranger. Um, really wanted to uh oh yeah there was a bee monster that didn't want to fight and he only wanted to look at flowers and stuff so i i really would have liked to see you know some gorma try to turn it around but actually they were despicable so yeah blow them up i i was fine with that it, and it 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 was really nice development for blue cuz we get tons of blue ranger development like all the time so why not more um i mean not that i'm truly complaining because any development is good development, um, but I don't know, I, I, this was a weaker episode for me too, um, I think out of the batch, uh, 23 stands out the most, um, as my favorite of this batch, but, uh, this one, I guess by default, it's kind of on par with 25, uh, for, uh, this, this viewing batch, I, I liked this episode, like, I like bits of it. I like the part where uh, Blue, you know, despite his naivety, uh, still managed to win the day. Like, actually, the fact that he was so naive um, to, to like, it, it shows a lot of his character um, in that he he's trusting and he, he wants to believe in the good in others. And I really like that. Only problem is the Gorma just you know, stifled all of that. I really would have liked to see them turn it around. Really, that was the biggest misstep for me. Um, so, oh yeah, and then Cuba Ranger shows up once. Cuba Ranger didn't even show up in episode 23, I don't think. Um, not even in, in episode 25. Outside of, like, maybe calling in the Zord. Yeah, that, that was it. I don't know why. They, oh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just dive into 25, where, um... Oh, hey, this Gorma copies people. Um, they didn't even do any, like, creative way to kind of suss out. Oh, hey, are you a good guy or a bad guy? What do we do? Like, there's no... There wasn't really any, um, anything special about this. The I mean, like, every Sentai sort of does a, a, a clone episode, right? You know what I mean? And and this didn't do anything different. Actually, it it didn't do anything. It did, like um I remember in um in Cure Uger when uh when you'd expect them to kind of like No, no. I I just remember that in Cure Cure Uger they found a unique way to stop the clone, uh you know, like identify the clones and then beat them. In this I mean, it was cool to see two two ranger teams wailing on one, um, just being that outmatched. It, but like, I I don't really understand the 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 minutia of the the cloning process. Like, cause Master Kaku said that, oh hey, th that wasn't yellow. Oh, cause cause yellow was kidnapped and I something. Uh, Yellow was kidnapped, and um, the fake one tried to kill Master Kaku, but failed. And then Master Kaku said, "That's not the real him. He didn't have the right uh, Kirin stance." And I was like, "Excuse me, what? Uh, then are the clones just not as good? Uh, how? Like, what? What is the difference between them and the clones? Like, what is the the real, the core difference?" Because right now I'm not seeing any, and if, if, so if, if they're slightly weaker, that would make sense that the Die Rangers totally, um, 
got wailed on. Uh, I mean, like the Die Rangers wailed on them, and you know, uh, didn't at least didn't die fighting two teams of them. But if it's two teams of them who are like the same, at, like at least the same level, um, they they would have died like straight up. I don't know what I don't know what happened. I like sometimes they're the same, but sometimes they're different. I don't know the. It was it was a very confusing time. There was the, I I don't know. Again, we, weaker episode. Um, I'm hoping we get more, uh, like some better episodes coming up. Um, uh, I would like to see the return of Kiba Ranger in a better way. Like now that we've gotten a lot of his intro stuff out of the way, I want to see him kind of like improve. Um, you know, like, improve his nature, stop, stop groping people, don't do that, um, I don't know, I just, I, uh, th there was not a lot this, this time around that, um, I could really resonate with, except for friggin' episode 23, it's friggin' best, I, I love Kujiku and, and Daigo, that's the OTP, this, uh, isn't that, isn't that what they, they're saying now, the OTP, one true pairing. Yeah, I, I like those two. Make them, make them all together. Put them in a, make them together. Anyways, um, I think that just about covers it. Uh, again, the uh, weaker, weaker outing for this show. Um, I, I wanted to get better. Uh, I forgot what. Oh yeah, I, I need more Rio stuff. Like if anything. Oh yeah, and. Friggin' 20, episode 25, it was supposed to be Yellow's Focus episode, and we didn't get much of his character. I don't understand a lot about him. Why does he use that fighting style? I mean, we don't really know why anyone uses their fighting styles, but why is he the way he... I mean, like, there's nothing different setting him apart from any other, any other character, and this episode didn't do anything different with his character either, just like uh, the episode with the little girl. Um, cause any one of them would have wanted to save the little girl or, uh, you know, the tofu episode, any, any one of those Rangers would have done the same thing. So what makes him different, um, outside of his fighting gimmick and I love his fighting gimmick. It's just give me more. Like I want depth. I, uh, so far there's nothing doing it for me for yellow and the while there is slightly more for red i would like to see way more from red because he is our red ranger um despite liking daigo a lot um the red ranger just isn't doing anything i'd like to see more of his his ambition with with the dumplings i want to see more of that um i want to see what they want to do outside of being a die ranger you know um, we really only focus on blue, pink, and green for that, you know? Um, anyways, uh, I think that's about it. So, guys, if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you, or if you disliked it, you can hit that too. I'm not stopping you. You can go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> and if you want to talk to me about these, these episodes... Hit those comments down below. Tell me what you think, because, man, these were pretty weak. Uh, <laughs> do you think that Yellow and Red have gotten enough development lately? Because I sure don't. I, what, just tell me what you think. What have you gleaned off of these past few episodes? Because I want to know. There's not much to them. Um, and lastly, uh, all the links to our social medias are in the description down below. Um, oh, and subscribe to us to get more from us each week. Um, sorry, I'm a bit scrambled right now. But anyways, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.